out on the creek today. Not alone today. I'm with Brian, and uh, he's got something on the ground here. Let's uh, take a look at it. It's that dark spot right in the middle of the screen. It's right here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me get down there close to it. I wanna. Oh yeah, definitely. Yep. That's an Adena point, long stem base. Maybe a little tip ding, definitely a little tip ding. And that's pretty material. I think that's hornstone. All right, great find, Brian. Thanks. Hey, it's Matthew with Kentucky Artifacts and Outdoor Adventures and uh, just on a creek today. I've got a piece on the ground here that I think is a good educational piece. Uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what I see. All right, uh, right here in the middle of your screen is a large chunk of flint, microcrystalline quartz. And uh, this is not a finished artifact, but what it is, is a core. It is uh, the source material that was being used to make other flakes that, uh, who knows what they became. Uh, scrapers, knives, blades, projectile points, uh, hard to say. Uh, but this is a really great example of uh, a core. And uh, you can see there's been some larger flakes and smaller flakes. This is a, obviously a part of a larger piece of material. Uh, and it's been worked off of all around. And what's valuable about being able to identify that is that you're in a good place, a good place for hunting. Uh, some people might take that and you know drop that in their garden. Uh, personally, there are so many of these in this creek and in the surrounding area that I generally don't. So I'll leave it there for someone else to enjoy. Uh, but this creek is showing really good evidence of uh, being a great place to find artifacts. So as you're looking, and wondering if you're in a good place, that is the type of thing anyway that might be a good indicator that in fact you are. So look careful and look close when you find this sort of thing. Hey, this is Matthew with uh, Kentucky Artifacts and Outdoor Adventures. And as you can tell, I am on a creek today. Off in the distance, you might be able to see my Jeep parked uh, by the bridge there. I've been walking for a little while. There's so much to look at in this creek. And uh, found a few broken bits and pieces. Uh, but right here on this rock bar, I have come across, uh, well, I'll let you take a look at it and we'll see it. I won't tell you what it is until we get there. It's right there in the middle of the screen. And that is either a blade or a preform. I've looked it over a good bit and unfortunately I think it's broken uh, from your vantage point. It's, I believe it's broken just along that... Uh, this bottom edge right here, but let's uh, let's take a look. Yeah, definitely a worked piece, and definitely I believe broken. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Yeah, got a pretty significant break right there. All I've ever found in this particular creek is uh, preforms and brokes. Man, that would have been a pretty piece, at least in terms of the work on it. I'll keep looking, get back with you if I find anything else. Just a few minutes later on that same rock bar, and I believe I've got another rough tool laying on the ground here. You can see it there. You can see the working along this edge. Yeah, it definitely is. See if that's in focus. Keep looking. Well, I almost could have kept the camera running. This would have been a live action just uh, just after finding that second tool on this same rock bar. And there's another one laying right here. Let me see right in the middle. This guy. Is that a broke? No, no, that's not a broke. Well, it's a little banged up. But, uh, that's a square base knife. Little, eh, that might be deliberate. Or it might have been just a, a break that was corrected. 
Gosh, this is almost worth doing. Hey, it's Matthew with Kentucky Artifacts and Outdoor Adventures. You can see uh, by the background, spring is on. Man, I'm ready for the warm weather. I'm in a creek today. I've got something uh, on the ground here. Let's flip the camera around and we'll take a look at it. So what we're looking at is just under the surface of the water here and uh, probably invisible to you from this, this angle, but move down on it here, see if we can keep the glare of the sun out of the way. We're looking at that piece right there, the largest one in the middle of the screen. I'm uncertain, but it appears to be worked. And from what I see, I would put that in the category of a preform. And we'll see a little more clearly as we sift it out here a bit. Yep, definitely a worked piece. Not a point, not a defined tool, but unquestionably a nice little preform. All right, I'm gonna keep looking, see what we find. Uh-oh. I feel like this is such a classic move for me. I will uh, find something interesting and uh, take my eyes off of it and lose it. Goodness gracious, it was so obvious. Well, hmm. All right, let's 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 scan this a little bit and see. Uh, now this is not it, but... Yeah, that's just an interesting piece of material there. Oh, goodness. I wonder if I stepped on it and pushed it down in the gravel. I sure hope not. Oh, no, oh, it's way up there. I see it. All right, here we go. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of just to the left there of the, the sh well, it's now in my shadow. It is right below that white piece. It's sort of that brownish yellow. Hmm. Let me get out of the, the way there. So there, you can see that. And uh, let's flip that thing over and see what we got. Oh yeah, it's worked all the way around. But it is a very rough, rough tool. This is possibly a newer break there. Some people would call this a turtleback scraper uh, because it's got this real high stack on it. But it's been worked down all the way around. Possible a newer break there. And it's been, the stone has been reduced here on the other side as well. A little bit of cortex here. It's possible that this is a, a spent core, uh, a piece of source material that it's been, uh, you know, had been spalled off of so many times it was just sort of discarded. But, but typically these are referred to as a turtleback scraper, not an overly exciting tool, but pretty cool nevertheless. I've got a piece on the ground here. It's broken, plainly broken. But had it not been broken, man, that would have been a massive massive point or tool as it is it's just a broken tip good clean break there man that was thin you can see the translucence of it let me try to get that in focus not happening huh there we go now you can see that it's translucent I'll keep looking. Hey, Matthew, out on a creek on a rainy day. Actually, the rain's let up a good bit. And uh, got something on the ground here. Looked it over a little bit. I don't think it's all there. Oh, let's see if we can get around that glare. There it is. You see that red one right there? Oh, man, that's a beat up. That is a beat up point. Base is knocked off of it. One <laughs> bit of an ear there. Man, the material's gorgeous, but yeah, it's broken along this edge. The tip's gone. But boy, that is beautiful material. Well, let's see if we can't find something else on this creek. Matthew, back with you again. I've got another one on the ground here, in the water, that is. Let's see if you can see it. I can't barely see it on the screen, but I think I know where it's at. It should be right in the middle of your screen. I'll keep it there, kind of come around a bit here. Try to stay out of the light. Can you see it right there? 
And I can't tell if the tip is broken or what's all there. It looks like it's under a little piece of stone or perhaps the tip is gone. Oh, I think the tip is gone. Let's pull that out of there. Oh gosh, more than the tip is gone. <laughs> Half of it's gone. Nice Kirk corner notch sans tip. That's a real light colored uh, Carter Cave chert. Uh, it should be translucent. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, you can see the translucence there, I think. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, no tip. Otherwise, nice looking base. Adventures. Not sure if you can hear me over the roar of this waterfall, but I just want to show you a little bit of the terrain of Eastern Kentucky. Uh, these waterfalls are everywhere in this region. Alicia's over there taking a picture of it, you can see. But just to give you an idea of the terrain, these are, oh, I'd say a good 80 to 90 feet uh, tall cliffs. This one is a big uh, overhang and you can just see the massive boulders strewn about here in the creek bed. Uh, and it goes on and on out that direction. And uh, it's just beautiful, beautiful country. Rugged and lovely. Hey, it's Matthew again, still in Eastern Kentucky. Just a few minutes after uh, I took that video of the waterfall just to show you where we're at. Uh, but here's a little more. And I'm here with Alicia. And you can just see the rock bars here and there. Lots of banks. There's Alicia. Got something on the ground here. Or not on the, well, it is on the ground, but it's really underwater. Can you see it there? It's right there. It's that orange one. It's broken. But it's definitely a point. Let me see if I can get out of the light. There it is. See uh, two ears on it. What are you doing? Are you going to take it? <laughs> All right, let's get that out of the water there. Yeah, the tip is, man, that's got a lot of sledge on it. <laughs> Scrub that off a bit. It's got a lot of, uh, yeah, it's a broke. Unfortunately, snapped right off at the tip there. All right, it looks like it was a little bifurcate. I'll keep looking. All right, Alicia's taking a picture. This is her first point ever <laughs> on the ground. It's all right, bust up. All right, well, let's, you don't know how much of it's there yet. Mm -hmm. So let me come down to, for you to get a good look at this because man, oh man, it's a beautiful Carter Cave shirt. It does look like it's got a butt break right here along this edge, but holy smokes, that thing looks like it's gigantic. All right, uh, so come on down so you can take it. You're gonna pull it right out, or you're gonna kind of oh, shuffle yeah. the rocks. Oh yeah, I'm so totally pulling just it right it. out. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. I don't got impatience for that. Oh other stuff. yeah, that's so that's uh. Oh man. Here you investigate it. It's dirty and it's kind of. You know, <laughs> it's dirty. dirty. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's dirty. Oh man, that's a beautiful work piece of material. But let's see if we can tell what it used to be. If it was a point or if it's just a, a scraper. Here, I'm gonna dry that off a little bit because it's hard to see the work on it when it's wet. Oh yeah, so nice works material. It seems to be broken right along this edge. And that may have been like a point with the base extended out that direction. Of course, no, this has got a cortex. This is the cortex of the original stone. Oops, I'm not on it. Let me focus on that better for you. I, I think that this is just a general tool. This is a, it was a scraper, but it is a little bust up from the creek. All right, let's see if she can find another one. Mm -hmm. 